Hey there, I'm Greg, aka Darth Prentice. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is the first in hopefully a very long series of flesh and blood PVE gameplay videos. Now you might be saying to yourself, Greg, how are you doing flesh and blood PVE? LSS hasn't released that yet. Very good news. Some big fans of flesh and blood developed their own PVE system. And then not only did they develop an awesome PVE system, they then turned it into an app that's easily accessible, really straightforward to use, and pretty stinking cool. This app is called the Overlord Engine 2. There is a link in the description below if you want to get this app for yourself. I'm not sponsored in any way right now by the people that make the Overlord Engine. Uh, I just really think this is an amazing app and I'm excited to keep using it. In this episode, I'm joined by Kari, aka Alexandra, from the Casual Fab Discord, as well as Dylan, aka Gorganian Tome. In the spirit of full transparency, this was my first time trying to run a session of this with other people. I'd played against this boss once before, just by myself, kind of goldfishing it to get a feel for how things work, and this was my first time running it with people. That said, there are definitely a few things that I screw up, so if you can spot those things in the video, leave a comment below. One detail before we get into the gameplay, the system they developed for the boss, they use these things called barricades. They're basically equipment that have temper and arcane barrier one. I think that's really all you need to know, so let's get into the gameplay. Well, fellow adventurers, I suppose we should start out on this quest here. I'm going to draw my first four. Let us slay a dragon, shall we? Yeah, what is the name of this dragon? Zulgorath, Lord of the... Zulgorath, <laughs> Lord of the Flame Cult. It's <laughs> very cool. Yeah, and this has 96 life? I... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say that usually I play with dragons, I don't slay them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make an exception this time. <laughs> this, is a, this is a big old dragon here. Okay. Um, and in terms of its stance, it's the aggressive predator and it's going to target the hero with the lowest health. If tied, we choose one randomly and it blocks with the lowest defense barricade. Uh, okay, so that means it's going to be attacking me. Well, hopefully I have Dissolving Shield in my opening hand. I guess I'll just go ahead and get going. And it's neat because this PvE game, mm -hmm. we're on a team. I can yeah. show you the top card of my deck. That's true. Ooh, Tobias Bone up there? All right. Yeah, Tobias Bone hanging out on his motorcycle. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's actually kind of a little bit difficult to decide because I want to get the Teclo or down, mm. but I also don't want this heist in my hand because Dash IO is very or Dash Database is very much like a setup knockdown character. Right. I think. What was the top card? It was T Bone. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't need to hide it. There's nothing to hide. <laughs> what are you afraid of? <laughs> Okay, with the blue in my hand, yeah, okay. I think I think the best play is to just get that out there. Sweet. And then we will put a two dice on that, and then I'm gonna trigger put a dice on my um, Sweet somebody else's shot. Zapparino. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and arsenal a twin drive. Sweet. And then I will pass my turn. All right, over to you, Alexandra. Ooh. Okay, so I'm thinking of playing an Endless Winter, but I'm not sure if I should Arsenal a Command and Conquer or a Crippling Crash. Mm. The Command and Conquer is a bit vanilla since they don't have an Arsenal, but the yeah. Crippling Crash might be a bit tricky if I don't get blues, so... Mm. <laughs> Interesting. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch the CNC. Let's see. Right. So I will attack for eight, and right. I guess no effect because it's not a hero. Um, what are the effects? I don't remember how endless. I don't reads. use it, but uh, either way, it says if it hits a hero until the end of the of their next turn, whenever they activate an ability, create a frostbite token under their control. Right, okay. So, no frostbite, I assume. Mm -hmm. 
because you didn't fuse it, or it, is the fuse no, irrelevant? The fuse is irrelevant for this effect. Uh, if okay. I fused it, uh, they would get frostbite for every defending card. But I don't oh, use it, so okay. this is irrelevant. Right. It's just this part that hits a hero, I'm not sure. Well, it does... So there is a modifier that says for each frostbite, the boss will get minus one attack value on their next attack. So, um... I don't remember... But, but do they activate an ability? I, I think just... Is attacking, attacking considered attack, uh, activating an ability? It is, isn't no, it? No. No, I think it's oh, just it's oh, okay. like uh, just activation or things like oh, that. Oh, okay. That Got it. Yeah. 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 All right, so the on-hit effect won't do anything, but it's attacking for eight, you said. Yes. So it will block with its one barricade here, uh, which has temper four, and then it will also defend with a card from hand, which blocks for a total of three. So they will take one damage, because uh, <laughs> that's only seven block, and then this barricade will get minus one. Oh my gosh. I boost so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe try and set up a, a great big, big combo. Yeah, that is my plan. <laughs> uh, awesome. I think I do All have right. Max V in hand, right? No, I don't. I don't know why I thought that. All right. Is that the end of your turn there, Alexandra? Uh, yes, I guess it is. I'll arsenal and drop. Right. That brings it to me. <laughs> and it's a little too early, I think, to do um, the big crazy combo that I'm hoping to pull off with my deck. So we'll just put a counter on Tunic. Um, and then uh, we're going to set a Drone of Brutality, pitching a beast within. So we will attack them for six. Uh, they currently are supposed to defend with their lowest barricade, so that'll be that same one they defended with last time. And okay. they'll also defend with a card from hand. Only a total of two, so they'll be blocking five and taking one off my red draw of brutality. Nice. This gets an additional minus one counter on it. Um, okay, we're chewing. Yeah. Because we have to. What's the effect on this boss again? There's like a special effect when barricade breaks. Yeah, so whenever it becomes exposed, which means there are no barricades, um, it gains three life. Ah, okay, okay. Um, and at certain points in the game, it does get to generate more barricades, so uh, clearing barricades <laughs> is going to be a thing that we definitely want to do. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm going to break the chain. My drone goes to the bottom of my deck. I'm going to put this card into my arsenal. I'm going to draw... Three cards. Oh, that's a hilarious hand to draw. Um, okay, it is now the boss's turn. So because they are an aggressive predator, uh, they're targeting the hero with the lowest health, which is Dylan, unfortunately. Um, I... One of the things I don't know, remember, I don't think we talked about this yet. Uh, we can block for each other if we on need certain to. attacks, right? Uh, yes. So this is one that we're able to uh, block. Let me. I can pull up the help section here for boss attacking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Focus. If it's a red, it's a regular focus, which means anybody can block it. But if it's purple, um, that means um, other people cannot block it for you. So. Uh, its focus is red, so it's regular. So, I however, could... there is yeah. one thing. There's one caveat about the red focus, right? It's that so you can block for me, but right. if you block for me, I can't block for me. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. And it's for it's for the turn, I believe, not just the chain link. Yeah. Right. So you, right. you have to really be committed to yield blocks. Mm -hmm. So only okay. one person can block. Uh, correct. So, because the boss is attacking Dylan, uh, I... How's your hand, Dylan? Do you need help blocking? Um, I'm just trying to think, because I have Twin Drive and Arsenal, I have Tome, I have Heist, and, um, I mean, what I could probably do is maybe just block with two cards, 
Or I could actually block with all three. That's fine. And then, because, well, I can hold on to Tome as well. But I, I don't think so, no. I think I'm all right. Because okay. we'll, we'll have to see how much the, the boss actually blocks for. Right. Or attacks right. for. Right, right, right. All right, so here we go. They will attack you. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't want to see this again. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, two oh, yeah, attack two. with go again. We're chilling. Oh, with go again. Okay. Um... Mm, I'm not quite there with the combo turn yet. I think I'm actually just going to let the... I'll block with the tone. All right, so that's a clean block. You don't get hurt. It will yeah. attack again for two with go again. For two with go again, okay. Um... Can they have reactions? I don't think they have any uh, reactions in the deck. At least this boss, I don't know if it does. This is the only one I've looked at at all, really. Yeah. Uh, I'll block with T-Bone for three. All right. They're going to attack you again because they had go again. And it's just for four. No go again. Then I'll block with Spark of Genius for three. Take Take one, going to 17. All right. That will be the end of their turn. They will change stance. They're now a furious predator. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Now we are back to you, Dylan. Okay, well, beginning of my turn, Tekla Core will tick down. I'll gain two resources. I need my resource token. I'll get that at the end of her at the end of my turn. Sweet. And then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, play heist and boost it. Sweet. So boost, uh, when it hits, put a item for zero from the banner zone into the into play. So oh. it comes for five. All right, it comes for five. Okay, mm-hmm. they are blocking with their lowest barricade, which is going to be for two, and then a card from hand. Come on. For two, so they're going to block four and take one. Beautiful. Excellent. That's just the best news. Right, and then you get okay. that. Yeah, I get the counter on Symbiosa shot, and I'm not going to crank this. Sweet. So this will keep its counter, and then, okay. uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pass turn. All right. Oh, that's... Oh, oh wait. Defend. Oops. Okay. Okay. So on my turn, I'll put a counter on Tunic that I previously forgot. Um, <laughs> you can put the first one on. I'm not going to be mad. Yeah. I mean, this thing has no. 93 health. <laughs> we're going to need we're going to need that tunic counter. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll cheat. Then we, I have to. Uh, and I'll just attack with uh, my crippling crash. It's going to be an yeah. 11. 11. And the effect is if it deals for more damage, they discard two random cards. I don't know if it's possible to apply it. Yeah, for each discarded card, they get minus one card available to block this turn and minus three on its next attack. So uh, making them discard is going to be very good for us. Okay, they're still blocking uh, with their lowest barricade, which I need to put... uh, another minus one counter on there so that barricade only has one block value left on it which is very good for us yeah and then they're going to defend with a card from hand so they're only defending a total of four okay so they take seven crush yeah. is live and that's awesome the effect of this card for two cards right okay so need to look at that again for each card so they would have effectively discarded two cards yes it's whoa okay awesome so for each discarded card, so they have two less cards available to block at this turn and minus six to their next attack all right that's good. so yeah that's awesome for us uh so help me remember that please when we get to the bosses turn. yeah okay. um, and then is that the end of your turn uh, yes, our arsenal pass. Awesome. My tunic goes to two. <clears throat> and I... Hmm. I guess... Uh... Boy, this is uh, kind of scary. I don't think <laughs> I can... Maybe I can do something wild. Um... There's like a decent chance I could absolutely pop off uh, with Berserk this turn. 
<laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about me potentially going for a big combo right now, or if you want me to wait a little longer until I'm more confident I'll be able to get it. Um, I say we just party. Okay. We say go for it. It's, All right, well, we will it's party. Casual. <laughs> it if we die, we die. Yep, I will play a berserk pitching a berserk. So I have one resource available. Um, I'm then going to play... Hmm, will I have enough money to do that, though? That's going to be the problem, isn't it? I, I hope. I hope so, too. Uh, we're just going to find out. Uh, we're going to play Sand Sketch Plan. So we're going to go get a card. Um, and it's going to be... What is it going to be? Uh, I think it's it's going to be Beast Within. That makes the most sense. Yeah, I... Got a little Beast Within. So... With an automatic discard. Right. Um, so, search my deck for a card, put it in my hand, discard a random card, and then shuffle my deck. Oops, I'm doing this out of order. Please forgive me. Flesh and ah, Blood Gods. Okay. Okay. I have these two cards in my hand. Uh, we will call this one odd and this one even. Okay. Even, it's even it is. so it's this card. Please. Ooh, and it's the pack call that got discarded. <laughs> um, so I will gain two action points. Okay. Um, and then I will. That triggers. Berserk, so this will get banished mm. instead. I also am going to Intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, so I have one Intimidate going right now. Um, and I don't remember how... For Intimidate, they get minus one card available to block this turn. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to destroy this this poor friend. Uh, yeah. I'll reveal the top card of my deck. If it's six, it goes to my hand. It is. It's a blue Wrecker Romp. That's... Oh. Okay. That's what that's that's what, that's what the kids needed right there. <laughs> that's what we needed. <laughs> um, okay, is there anything that I've forgotten about right now? I don't think so. Um, I'm then going to. Boy, uh, play a blood rush from my arsenal. Dude, I love that white border. I know, right? I'm going to use my last resource floating. Um, and as an additional cost, I discard a random card. <laughs> so okay. I have... Well, we know it's a hit. Yes, it's going to be a hit. It's just going to be a question of which one it's going to be. One of them is going to be an awesome hit, and the other right. one's going to be... This is my odd one again. Open oh, it was odd. Okay. Please? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's the beast within. Okay. So this is... We'll trigger Beast within first, I suppose. Um, if it would go to a graveyard, other than the combat chain, banish the top card of my deck and lose one life. If it's, it's a six. It's a wild yeah. ride. Beautiful. So wild ride will go to my hand for Beast within, and I will lose a life. Putting me to 19. As I change my life on screen there. Okay, I'm at 19. Beast within resolved. Now I will resolve Berserk. It's a skull crack. Okay, so skull crack will go to my hand. And then I will um actually will I need action points. I won't need action points, so I actually think I'm not going to blow up my boots yet. Um now I will draw two for blood rush. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Okay. And I've done th two Intimidates. So they're uh, they're already losing. <laughs> so they're four cards less to block this turn. So I don't think they're going to be able to block anything. I don't think so either. Okay. Let's look at this hand. Okay. So I've got both of my blue Wrecker Romps now. Um, and I think the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to Wild Ride here. Because let's just let this circus absolutely go so we'll have one resource floating we will draw a card and discard a card at random I'm ready I am too we've got four um, so for this roll 
Actually, I have a D4 right here, so it'll be a little hard to see, but this will be one and this will be four. Okay. It is a one, so this is what we discard. It's a skull crack. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's working. It's all coming up, Reinhardt. <laughs> Uh, so there's uh, another Intimidate. I feel like I've probably missed an Intimidate here somewhere. Um, but this is coming in for eight with Go Again from Blood Rush. And don't um, forget it did Oh, Berserk. and my uh, Berserk trigger here has to happen. Oh, it's a Blood Rush, so that stays on top. Um, that could make things interesting. That could make things That could uh, shut the turn off. Um, but we still have two action points, so I think we're going to be okay. So I'm attacking them for eight. They're blocking with their lowest um, barricade, which this one is now dead, actually, because it was supposed to die at the end of last turn. Mm, okay. Uh, which means they're blocking for four with that barricade, uh, but they actually, nope, they can't do that. They are way low on cards to block, so they're going to block four and take four. Um, then, uh, while that is still on the combat chain, hmm. uh, I probably should have popped that earlier. That's fine. We're going to pop our hat. Okay. Uh, draw a card and discard a random card. Go again. That's a smart move, I think. Yeah, at least hopefully get this blood rush in my hand or gone so that Berserk can do more stuff. All right, four cards again. So same thing. Card number four, which is, hey, a reincarnate. That will go to the, oh, actually, no, it will uh, trigger Berserk instead. Wow, this is, uh, <laughs> this is probably why this card got banned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Smash Instinct goes to my hand. Okay. This is hilarious. Yeah, this is quite the something here. Um, <laughs> another, another blood rush, I guess? <laughs> I think you can kill him by yourself. <laughs> I Boy, that would be really something. Uh, if you're able to pull off 82 damage in this turn... <laughs> that would be Bananas Foster. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six for this random discard here. It's a two... Which is the blue wrecker up. That's a bit of a bummer. It'll get yeah, banished. That's a bit of a bummer. I reveal a yellow pack call that comes to my hand. Okay, and then I draw two for Blood Rush. <laughs> um, okay. I can't believe how lucky we got in the I, first I, like two yeah, turns. I cannot either, to be completely honest with you. And I still have two action points. Um, so now we're going to pop our gloves to just because. Um, we're going to play a red bear fangs, uh, pitching a yellow, so we still have one floating. Uh, we will draw and discard a random card. Okay, we've got four cards there, so we need our trust. Is this the point where you might start considering breaking beaten trackers? Uh, yes, I think yeah. after this one. I will. So a three. One, two, three. Oh, it's a yellow drone of brutality. So it does not hit. Oh, no. <laughs> it will go oh, to the no. bottom. Uh, Berserk fizzles. Bear fangs fizzles. But uh, it's still going to get plus two, four, six from all of my blood rushes. So it's an attack for 12. And Glad Collar, right? That uh, includes... Yeah, so 6 plus 2 is yeah, okay, 8, yeah. plus 2 plus another 2. Yeah, so yeah, a yeah, total yeah. of 12 damage. Um, I did break the combat chain. So it can uh, block with this buddy again, but it's supposed to be at only minus 1, not minus 2. So it'll block 3 of the 12 and take 9. Right? Is that how math works? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have one action point. I will... Ravenous Meat Axe. Uh, pitching. 
a yellow, so I still have one. Draw and discard. Are they both hits? We're going to find out. Oh, I'm there's gonna, still three cards in hand. There's oh. still three, yes, because I got to draw one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Two. It is a hit, so Smash Instinct will get banished. I will reveal the top. It is a Savage Feast. Okay, because I discarded, I'll pop Broken Trackers. Um, yep. Which, I had one action point, so I'll have one action point left. Yes. After this. Um, okay. One <laughs> floating. So that would get plus two from itself, plus another... Four, six, so it's coming in for nine. Um, I did not break the chain, so it can't block with the uh, barricade. So it'll take they'll take another nine. <laughs> <laughs> and we have one action point left. And you know, um, we're gonna swing for the fences. We've got a pulping. Uh, although I guess I don't know that I'll be able to do anything really after that. Let me think about that. Probably won't. I think the smart play, or smarter play, is to just savage feast with my one floating. And then hope to hit them not pulping. Yeah, that's what I think. It's probably not the Michael Hamilton school of math way to do it, but yeah. uh, we'll call this odds and this one evens. Oh, I don't need that D4 that's in there. Odds. Hey, it's the reincarnate. Uh, that gets banished to Berserk. Mm -hmm. The other wild ride pops uh, to my hands. How fun. Okay, so 6 plus 4 is 10. Another 10 damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and after all of that madness, I will <laughs> end my turn, believe it or not. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was quite the turn. That... That was what I built this deck to do. I just didn't think it would happen on my second turn, to be to be completely <laughs> honest with all of you. Um, but that's why I love this crazy deck. All right, let's let's, let's do a little pitch stacking, shall we? Wow, look at that pitch stack. Nice. Right, we're gonna arsenal one and draw <laughs> three. Okay. Holy crud. Okay. Uh, thank you for bearing with me through that. Um, that now, was beautiful. It's the boss's turn. But they got forced to discard two cards. Yep. During so Alexandra's turn. So they minus can six. only. Yeah, minus six on its next attack. Okay, it's still a furious predator, so it's gonna attack Dylan again. Um, Damn. But what I will do is let me block for you, because I just did all this stuff, so let's let you keep what you have going on over there. Um, yeah. Probably time to start thinking about what I'm going to do on my turn. No, oh, wait, why are you showing me focuses again? Understood, makes sense. Don't show me the blocking part again. Oh, it's attacking for eight. Okay, that's sweet. Hi. Right. I will block four. Let's keep. Oh, that's funny. I can also block with my shield because I have two defense and it will be minus six, so. Oh, yeah, it's minus oh, six. Oh, you know what? That would probably be the best thing to do if you don't mind doing that, Alexandra. Yep. Awesome. Block Look at all this it. protection. Wow. Shiana coming in with her huge shield. <laughs> <laughs> Shiana's the best. Perfect. Well, that was blocked. They will change stance now. Ooh, and they get to create a new barricade. Oh. Bummer. That's a bummer. All right, so they now have a new barricade. Um, and they are they are now a defensive hunter, so this is the mode where they're going to try and block as much damage that comes in. Yeah. Um, okay. So. All right, Dylan. Well, if they're going to try and block as much damage that comes in, it makes sense for me probably to not. Maybe go just for set, the set combo. Up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I think what we'll do. 
Uh, at the beginning of my turn, Teclo Core is going to pop. Sweet. And then I think we're just going to try our best to hold on to the hyperdrive or the high octane. Mm -hmm. And we will simply play Met X boosting. Okay. And it's coming in for four. And on hit, I put a card from my, uh, an item card from my hand into play. Right. And also the boom grenade on hit. Right. Uh, so because it is uh, a defensive hunter, it's going to block with its highest barricade, which will be mm -hmm. that full health four one. So that will get fully blocked out. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. We figured it wasn't going to hit on that first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, actually, do I want to... I definitely don't want to boost that boom grenade. Although... It would be so bad to store it for uh, my other highest. Is it another red boom grenade that's on top too? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm just not going to be able to get it back once it goes into the graveyard. So right. I think I'd almost rather boost it and try and get it back later with highest. Okay, that's what Smart. we'll do. Smart. So Medex for four boost. Sweet. Okay, so they will block for three with their barricade, as well as a card from hand. So blocking a total of five. Damn it. Okay, I'm an idiot. Right, makes sense. Um, cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to just break the combat chain and play a uh, second boom grenade, put that up Sweet. to three. Okay. And then I will not crank this boom grenade. All right. And uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be my turn. So on to you. Are piling up. They are indeed. Right, Guys, so, so on my turn, I take the tunic, and we have one resource available. Heck yeah. Which I might use. I will reach the clocker and play shakedown. Sweet. And let's see how he blocks, but I will have a pummel. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, um, so they're going to block with their highest available barricades. They'll be blocking for three with a barricade. Um, and uh, three, f so it's going to be a total of six covered up. So they will not put any more cards <laughs> on mm -hmm. the combat chain. Okay, then I will. Uh, do I want to... Take my, no, I will leave my tunic because I have two cards. I will nice. just reach for this. And pummel, so this will get plus two. Okay. And discard the card. Awesome, I love a cheeky blue pummel. Okay, so they will take two. Um, and then they will have to discard a card. Awesome. Uh, that doesn't have go again or anything, right? Yeah. And that was shakedown, right? What is shakedown's text say? Uh, I don't know if they can do it, but uh, I have to choose red, yellow, or blue, and uh, they reveal their hand and can they cannot... Uh, I get to banish a card of the chosen color, but I don't know. Okay, sweet. So let's do this, because I think this makes some sense. Um, what we will do is um, I'll have you choose a color, and then I'm going to hit the... Uh, either the pitch attack or defend button, one of those, and it'll just show us, I'll, I'll, I'll hit pitch. And if you, oh uh, boy, mm, actually, I'm trying to think of a way that we could homebrew that right now, because we could, I guess we could just say, because in the modifier section it says your contracts are always fulfilled if you hit. So we could kind of lump this in as like a pseudo contract effect where yeah, they just that's, that they seems to be the best way to do it. They lose a card from hand, so we can maybe just treat it as if you made them discard an additional card. If that makes yeah, sense to you makes guys. Sense. Yeah, that makes okay. the most sense. It's an assassin card. It can only right. be played in mm. assassin. I would Almost say almost the contract, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, you made them discard two cards again. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Well, 
Well done. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely nailed it. And they took damage. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they... Mine's the only hero that's just not doing anything. <laughs> well, you gave yourself a bit of an uphill battle, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's true. Uh, but if you, but when you love the hero, dang it, you do that. Yeah, you so, know, I do. Um, I, I cannot fault you for that. Okay, so now it's to little old Greg's turn. Um, Tunic goes to three. I mean, I can do some more silly stuff, I think. I mean, I've got my sand sketch plan and a, my other beast within in hand. So I think I might... I'm going to start with sand sketch plan. Just for chuckles and ha-has. And... I think we're going to get... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get the blue wrecker romp. Because worst case scenario... Uh, I have more money. So now I have to... Discard a random card and, and then shuffle my deck. I'm doing it right this time, James. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't at me. Or do at me. It's fine. Um... Okay, Both are cards. okay. Yeah. <laughs> four cards. The D4 says, card number one, my lord. Oh, it's the Savage Feast. That's okay. That goes to discard. We have two action points. What's the best way to optimize that? How do I make this beast within work? Probably by playing Wild Ride from Arsenal. Oh, I need to shuffle. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing it right. Sorry, James. Please yeah. forgive me. James is gonna shut this stream <laughs> yeah. down. <laughs> FBI, open up, or whatever the, the New Zealand equivalent of the FBI is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, there's my deck. I will draw a card and discard a random card, and I okay. will maybe get extra go again here. D4. We need the D4 again. Little bitty D4. Card number four. That's this one. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's beautiful. Uh, that's just wonderful. Okay. River, river. Banish the top card of my deck. It's a yellow pound town. That means I lose one life. And I go to 18. And that goes to my hand. Hot dog. All right, we're coming in for six with go again. Um, they got discarded twice, so they have two less cards available to block this turn. And you intimidated, right? Oh, sheesh, yes, and I intimidated. So that means they have three fewer of it. Wait, no. Yes, they have yes. <laughs> They have no cards from hand available to block this turn. The dream is happening, friends. Yeah. Um, so they'll block with their first barricade for two and take four. Then... Um, we'll play this pulping. Um, we're going to pitch this yellow drone of brutality. Oh, I guess if I miss it doesn't even matter. So I'm not going to pitch that. I'm going to pitch the blue so that I have one money left over. Draw and discard a random card. Wasn't yellow drone, the one that I missed on the other time, too? Yep, it is. Yep. Let's miss again, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> one. Brute life. Oh, no, it was a pound town this time. Okay, okay. so it has dominate, but again, it's only going to be able to block two of my six, so it'll take another four. I still have two action points, then. Oh, that's kind of funny. Let's live on the <laughs> edge and play another pulping. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to activate our tunic counter Yeah. to go to two. Play that pulping for free. Well, not for free, but, you know. For tunic plus one, yeah. Floating free. Yeah, yeah. We're floating free. All right. Odds, evens. Yep. 
Evens. Evens. Aha, it's the drone. Well, it doesn't have anything to block with anyway, so. Oh, it'll take six. It's getting mad. And then our turn is going to end by me putting this card in my arsenal. Nice. It's a savage beatdown. Let's see if I'm able to pull it off later. <laughs> All right. Oop, no, that goes here. Well, that's it for old Greg. That means it's the dragon's turn. It's going to attack the player with the highest health this time. That'll be Shiana, right? Oh, also, it's going to be you have... because you are at 118. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it'll definitely be LOL. Yep, I am the target at 118 health. <laughs> More than the boss. Reinar oh, is yeah. juiced. I am the boss. <laughs> Okay, I can totally block for you if oh, you need I me didn't. to, Alexandra. Uh, I don't know. Wait, I didn't draw my cards last. Oh, uh, no worries. <laughs> um, let me see. Okay, so I need to keep just those two cards because I can play with Teclo, I can do a Gano Shakedown, and I can do the Red Pummel with the Tunic. Oh so I gosh. can block six <laughs> with my traps. So yeah, I can defend. It's fine. And it's gonna have minus six anyway. It it sure will. Okay. All right, Manchiana overpowered. That's awesome. Why are you showing me the focuses again? I don't need it, my friend. Yeah, it's strange. Okay, so it's attacking for negative one. Are you gonna block? <laughs> <laughs> no blocks. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's amazing. All right, it's gonna change its stance. It's an aggressive hunter now. Okay, awesome. Uh, and it's uh, big mean attack is almost ready, I think. Well, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. That brings us back to you, Dylan. Okay, well, I've been trying to think about what to do. So first mm -hmm. things first, the boom grenade is going to go to the graveyard. Rest in this peace. is going to tick down. Yeah, it never, it never got to go off. Um, the problem is that my other heist is on top of my deck. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I have four red cards. <laughs> so... What's what your I'm arsenal? My arsenal is twin drive. It's hilarious because I almost have it. Like, if I have oh, a blue, oh, I have man. the maximum velocity combo, but I just don't have it. Uh, and so, yeah, it's all coming up dash IO right now. <laughs> like, this is so classic dash IO. No, see, the thing is, is I have already stolen all of the possible positive variants from this <laughs> yeah, round. Right. So, yeah. So Can when I I'm give thinking, you my blue? <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I'm thinking what's probably the best for me is I'm th I have another Max V in the deck right. that I haven't seen yet. And so what I'm thinking is I can do kind of a weird finagling where I pitch stack. So I play high octane, pitching the zero to 60, draw the highest, and mm -hmm. then pitch these two to do that. And then hopefully if it's not defending with everything, I can get the boom grenade back in and try and hit whatever's on top. Yeah, totally. It's only going to block with its lowest barricade and one card per attack right now. Okay, so, so that means it absolutely needs to block with two. <laughs> <laughs> or I suppose I could crack the Goliath Gauntlet to guarantee the hit. That actually kind of makes sense. Yeah, you've got the Boom Grenade on board that's going to go away anyway. Plus yeah. then you could theoretically pop your heart too, right? To get yourself two more resources? Or are you too no. worried about boosting more away? No, I won't have enough resources to do it. Oh, oh, I see. Because yep. it'll cost one for high octane, and then it'll cost two for highest. And then I oh, have to boost right. whatever's on top. You know, which, it's funny. I feel like uh, high octane draws two cards, but it only draws one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, for sure, we're doing this. Yep. And so I think we just check the top. It's a blue. That's fine. I don't mind boosting that guy away. The blue zipper hit. Yeah, I think that's still the best play. So we're just going to go ahead and guarantee this heist hit. Sweet. And then we're going to pitch this and play heist, boosting. What's on top? Another freaking twin drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So heist is coming in for uh, seven. Go again. And you gain an action point, yeah? And I gain an action point, yeah. Okay, seven. So it'll block for two with one of its thangs. One of them barricades. And two. Four. Okay. So it blocks four. It'll take uh, three from the damage. And then how much from the boom grenade? Uh, three. Awesome. That puts it to 32. Yep. And then this boom grenade will come into play for free from my banner zone. Sweet. 
And then uh, with my two action points, uh -huh. I'm going to... Oh, this actually goes up by one. Sure does. So I have two shots on... Four shots on symbiosis. I'll mm -hmm. shoot it twice. So one shot with symbiosis. Sweet. It... Um, with go again. So combat chain wasn't broken. Was not broken. Okay. No. So then it will... Uh, this is a new attack. So it will defend again. With a card from hand. For yeah. two with a card from Kay. hand. And then we'll do it one more time. Okay. Then I have no more action points. Yeah, that one blocked for three. Okay. Cool. All right, Sounds sweet. good. So that's two, that's that, and now we have a crazy pitch deck on the bottom. Heck yeah. And uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Awesome. All right, Alexandra. Pummel queen over there. Uh, Pummel monarch, I should say. <laughs> I'm Why considering maybe putting this deck locker on the board because I have way too many cards and I don't want to IP myself. <laughs> so maybe sure. I could mage master and place the deck lock. Heck yeah. And then... We're at a pretty comfortable place, I feel like, right now. Those could be the famous last words. This could turn very violent on us in just a second, but I feel like you setting up a little bit isn't a bad idea, especially considering some of the crazy, silly, powerful cards you have in that deck. Yeah. Yeah, that's late. Okay, I'm going to crack Mage Master Boots. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to put this deck lock over here. And then I will um, play this shakedown with my remaining two resources. Sweet. So this is gonna be a six for now. Mm-hmm. For now. Uh, <laughs> the famous words. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it will block with its lowest barricade, which will be the same one. So it'll block for one with a barricade and one with a card from hand, which is only blocking for four total. Okay, so this is going to be two, and then I will play this red pommel, so he's going to get six damage and one, two discards, actually, <laughs> because it's shakedown again. Yep. Incredible. All right, so discarded two. So it's got two less cards available to block um, for my turn again. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then that will destroy this barricade. Yeah. We're a great team. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. I was really concerned with the boss having 96 health. Yeah, I was really honest. worried about that too, yeah. Um, I suppose it helps that uh, you know, two thirds of us have had some pretty ridiculously powerful turns to <laughs> <Yeah>. stop things <laughs> off. Um, awesome. All right, so you do not have an arsenal over there now, Alex. No, right? I didn't. I gave it up done. for the tech oh, yeah. <laughs> No, worth it. Uh, my tunic will go to one. And I'm going to discard my agile windup to make myself an agility token. And then um, I'm going to actually I'll take this thing so it's somewhat visible. Um, then from my arsenal here, I'm gonna play the Savage Beatdown. So I would have intimidated. Uh, let's see here twice yeah. because I'm gonna pitch those and it's gonna uh, discard, discard my drone, drone, which will go to yeah. the bottom of my deck. Um, so double intimidate, but then it also has uh, two less cards to block with anyway, so it's not going to be able to block with anything, so it'll take, um, let's see here, so it's coming in for 12 and it's going to block two <laughs> and take 10. I think I'll kill it this turn. I like your chances, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Yeah. And that's okay in my book uh, because that will end my turn alright Dylan alright let's see it show us what you've got uh, it, oh, does it the, need to go? yeah, yeah it, it does to I totally yeah. am getting ahead of us here it's attacking the highest health player I'm at 18 it's attacking me 
it's attacking yeah. you again. <laughs> well then, I I can definitely block for you. Unless you have a, a stinky hand that you want to block with. But it's going to get my... I'll just let me block for you. Let, let me do this for you, <laughs> Alexandra. Okay, you can protect me. <laughs> and it's showing me the thing again. Even though I said... Hmm. Okay, three with go again. That's fine. I'll block three with a no, red skull wait. Crap. The first attack is minus six. Oh, so you're it's right. minus three. <laughs> oh, yes. That's not even anything. Uh, I'm so glad you're here, Alexandra. All right, this one's for five. But that's totally fine because I will verily block five with uh, a red skull crack and a yellow barraging bighorn. So I will just block a total of six. So nothing comes through to you. You are safe. Amazing. And then we'll change its stance. And it's an aggressive predator and it did not get another barricade. So that <laughs> could be good for us. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna I think we might just get there. Alright, Dylan. Take us home. Okay, so two twin drives, one T bone, one max V. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And a boom grenade. Just oh. trying to figure out how how I wanna do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I feel it oh my gosh. Uh, at the risk of being too cliche, uh, Sub Zero is just kind of, flo or this dragon is floating there, and somebody <laughs> just said, a disembodied voice just called for you to finish him. <laughs> the, pr the only bummer is I would love to just boost four cards off the top of my deck just for fun. Right. You know, just like toss away almost 20% of my deck. Sure. <laughs> but I don't have the resources to do that plus maximum velocity. So I fortunately just have to be res responsible and play <laughs> the twin drive. I'm trying to play around my... Oh, first, that goes away. Yep. Uh, twin drive. Um, boost, boost. And it's a 0 to 60. Okay. Oh, it's a high octane. That mm. sucks. <laughs> I don't want that to be there, but you know what are you going to do? Okay, so it's coming in for five on hit boom grenade. Five on hit boom grenade. Okay, it is an aggressive predator again. So it'll block with the lowest defense barricade first. It's going to block for a whole one, and it's coming in for five. Mm -hmm. So it'll defend. Oh, this one has four defense, so it's going to block for a perfect five. Exaxes. That's yes. Fine. That's fine. We're, we, we have more things to do. <laughs> okay, and then we are going to... Unfortunately, goodbye, high octane. Bye-bye. Um, come in for three, go again, on hit, boom grenade. Okay, it will defend for three, so it You're blocked that out. An asshole deck. <laughs> this fucking Oh, sorry, <laughs> can I swear? <laughs> you can. Um, okay, and then... Well, we have three boosts, so I think I'm actually just going to try and... I'll just pitch the twin drive with the blue to play a max V mm, for 10. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you, can, can you block this? Yeah. Can you block this one? Well, it blocked no? three. So it takes seven plus how much from the boom grenade? Plus four. So a total of 11. Yeah. Oh man. Things are not looking good for this dragon. Oh, but no. it did become exposed this turn. Oh, so it gains three life, so right? It will gain three life. Dang, man. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's not dead yet. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, right. He's gonna die soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not long for this world. Sorry, Zulgarath, but uh, Shiana's yep. coming knocking. <laughs> uh, and that's that's my turn. So. All right. Bye. We will gain two resources from Teclo Core. Okay, I will play uh, Soul Ripping, okay. which is Chain Specialization, and I will pay the alternative cost. It says I may banish one or more cards from my hand rather than pay Soul Ripping's cost. If I do, I gain resources for each card with blooded, but I don't have any, doesn't matter. I would just rather banish a red than play uh, Basics. Sure. Okay. All right, so it's attacking okay. for So six. this is attacking for six. All right. And it's going to be pummeled. 
Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it has no barricades, wow. so it will defend uh, with a card from hand for two of the six. Ah, and so it will be just enough to kill him because I will give it plus four with uh, the. <laughs> yeah, Xaxi's lethal. Incredible. <laughs> Boom! Look at that victory. We just unlocked a boss. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, fifty-seven oh five. That's a blasty blast. I'm a huge fan of this already. 